Part two, Dead Forsworn, interlude, the second creation. The following is an excerpt from the book Creations, penned by the god Androicus. A thousand years after the first creation, when the vessel of the world was empty, and the blood of giants and dragons mingled in the air, in the soil, and in the water, the gods of the first creation saw the evil that was done. They could not undo the evil, they could only start again and hope for better. The world cried and shuddered, and it would not be comforted. If the gods did nothing, the world's misery would grow, and it would have to, would have to be destroyed, sent on through haven. Slon came down first. He took the blood of the giants and mixed it with soil. From that mixture sprang the first humans, and they were strange. Slon, in his wisdom, taught them to think and to feel, and they soon began to, to hunt and to farm, to write and to sing. They thought they were gods, and it was very strange, but eventually death came among them, and they learned the difference. Zakotek came down second. He took the blood of the dragons and mixed it with fire. From that mixture sprang the first elves, and they were fierce. Zakotek, with his wit, taught them to laugh and to cry, and they soon began to build and to grow, to invent and to define. They spoke in the language of the giants, and they forgot their passion for violence in the first century after the second creation. Brimson came down third. He took the blood of the giants and mixed it with water. From that mixture sprang the nymphs, and they were hidden. Brimson, with his strength, taught them to leave the form of water and air, to create bodies for their minds to dwell in so they could live and die, love and hate. They trusted him, but to this day they have trusted no one else. Only after Miss saw the creations of her brothers did she come down. She took the blood of the dragons and the blood of the giants, and she mixed them with her tears. From that mixture sprang the race of the fairies, and they were both good and evil from the beginning. Miss, in her insanity, taught them how to use all the magic of the world, and their power was be has become so great, Haven, the realm of the gods, still shudders with fear. The four creators stayed with their creations for a while and taught them the ways of life in the land of Duskane. For a time, the world was comforted. When the gods left, they left books for each of the four races and instructed them to keep their children in the way of peace, ways of peace. For hundreds of years, the land of Duskane was a realm of happiness, for no one knew nor taught the ways of war. Then Nogix came down, and in defiance of creation and the powers of all the other gods, he spoke a single word and created the Chaotix. With his hatred, he taught them to eat the flesh of humans, elves, nymphs, and fairies. With his anger, he taught them to wield great magics, to scream words of power with such fury that the elements trembled and obeyed. The fairies saw the power of the Chaotix, and in the moment their natures split. Half of the fairies joined the Chaotix and partook of their power and became fallen. They became the trolls and the gnomes, the goblins and the ixth. Half of the fairies remained neutral and became the mighty picks, the clever trogs, and all the lesser fairy races. Men and elves and nymphs were forced to fight, and in the gods' absence a man rose up, the judge Androicus, to lead the armies in the names of Slon, Zakotek, and Brimson. He led them against the power of the Chaotix and their dark god, Nogix, and with the power of the gods he sealed the Chaotix in the belly of the earth, where fire and stone are one. In the three wells, under the three seals, the Chaotix became captives. Thus ended the second thousand years. The work of creation was complete.